Made by former Chief Minister and patron of the National Conference, Dr. Farooq Abdullah, who says that until justice is done, targeted killings will never stop. He also goes on to say that people from outside are coming and taking up jobs that are meant for the locals. It will never be closed. Until it will not be closed, it will never be closed. और इसको बंद करने के लिए जितनी भी शोर करते हैं कि कहते हैं कि जहाँ पर बहुत सब कहते थे पहले 370 से ये हो रहा आज तो 370 नहीं है मेरी क्यों मृत्यु हो रही है इसके जमवार कौन है अगर वो बेहतर कर दिया तो फिर ये पढ़ने बेचारा मारा नहीं जाता कहाँ है हालत खब बेहतर मुझे तो नहीं दिखता Tejinder, my colleague now joins me for more on this. Tejinder, we've seen the kind of anger on the streets of Jammu and Kashmir over the last 48 hours after Puran Bhatt's cold-blooded murder. And yet, we have politicians in the valley, someone as senior as Mr. Farooq Abdullah, who is a member of parliament, who has been chief minister of the state, come out and say that this is never going to stop. Uh, yes, you see, uh, Farooq Abdullah is known for making such controversial statements. And uh, today, it seems that uh, he uh, has crossed the limit by making such a statement. It seems that Farooq, uh, is acting as a provocateur uh, for, uh, for whom he is seeking justice. Uh, when he says that until and unless you don't ju do justice, uh, target killings in Kashmir uh, will not stop. Uh, he goes to the extent in saying that uh, people from outside, they are coming in Jammu and Kashmir, snatching jobs from the youth, snatching uh, contracts from the youth, taking away every livelihood from the people of Kashmir. So it clearly, uh, in, in a way, Farukullah is justifying all those uh, target killings which are happening in Kashmir by giving a clean sheet to the terrorists. He did not say a word against the terrorists. He did not condemn terrorists. He did not say that uh, the terrorists should stop uh, the, the, the mindless killing of civilians, the mindless killing of the minority population. But he puts the onus on the central government on Article 370, uh, by saying that uh, the the target killings in Kashmir will never stop. He was asked this question while he was in Riyasi uh, district of Jammu today. He was asked to comment on the ongoing target killings in Kashmir. So he did not express any condolence or uh, any condemnation for Pakistan or the terrorists, but he uh, in, in a way blamed all the outsiders who are uh, uh, coming to Kashmir, who are working there. Uh, he, say, he said that these outsiders, they are snatching jobs from local youth. These outsiders, they are snatching contracts from local youth. And uh, until and unless the government of India does not do justice with uh, the, the, the local people in Kashmir, the target killings would continue. Farah uh, statement has uh, attracted large-scale resentment from people from various sections of society, people, uh, uh, be it civilians or uh, other political parties, they have condemned Farah statement saying that in a way Farooq Abdullah has justified what the terrorists are doing. Uh, and such type of a statement from a former chief minister, a sitting member of parliament and uh, the patron of uh, a party which has uh, been in power, which was in power for several long years in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, in the erstwhile, rather in the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir, he should not make such a statement. Rather, he should Absolutely. It's adding insult territory. to injury of all the families who are still reeling under the loss of their loved ones because of Pakistan and its proxies that have been spilling blood of innocence in the Kashmir Valley. Do stay on with me, Tejinder. Let's listen in to what Farooq Abdullah had to say once again. This और इसको बंद करने के लिए जितनी भी शोर करते हैं कि कहते हैं कि जहाँ पर बहुत सब कहते थे पहले 370 से ये हो रहा आज तो 370 नहीं है मेरी क्यों मृत्यु हो रही है इसे जमवार कौन है अगर वो बेहतर कर दिया तो फिर ये पढ़ने बेचारा मारा नहीं जाता कहाँ है हालत खब बेहतर मुझे तो नहीं दिखता that was Farooq Abdullah there, a sitting member of parliament, former chief minister of Jammu and Kashmir, giving a virtual clean chit to Pakistan and its proxies that have been killing innocents in Jammu and Kashmir in cold blood. The anger is palpable. We saw over the last 48 hours protests break out, not just in Jammu, but in Kashmir as well. Candlelight marches that were held for the killings of Kashmiri pundits for the minority community there. Let's listen in to some reactions coming in as well. जिस प्रकार से एक अमन और शांति का माहौल बना है मुझे लगता है कि अब 
यहां पर पत्थरबाजी नहीं होती हुरियत जैसे संगठन जो पाकिस्तान के समर्थन करते थे आज उनकी आवाज बंद है इस प्रकार की बात करना मुझे लगता है कि कहीं ना कहीं एक गैर जिम्मेदाराना बयान है कोशिश की जा रही है सुरक्षा बलों ने एक अपनी जिंदगी वाक भी कुर्बान करके इस प्रकार से एक माहौल बनाया है तो वो दिन दूर नहीं जब पुनः यहाँ पर जम्मू कश्मीर में एक अमन चैन का माहौल बनेगा